Namaste lovers in this dark scene. And I just wanted to sprinkle um, a little bit of love and healing into your Wednesday morning. So I am feeling a lot better. I feel deeply all of the love and the light and the positive healing energy that uh, you guys have been sending me. Thank you. Um, Sunday was magical. I felt the love um, when my dear sister Trinity subbed my evening bliss and meditation class. I felt the love ceremony being held, so thank you. My neck is um, its slowly healing, and I'm getting time to really nurture and tend to my body's needs, um, which is requiring me to slow down significantly. And that's been hard for me. Um, I'm the type of person that has to learn things the hard way. I always have been that way ever since I was a child. And, you know, being forced to be in a neck brace um, and not do anything for three days was very challenging. And the last few days I've been really um, doing a lot of ice therapy and Arnica, and a lot of natural, holistic um, remedies between my chiropractor and my masseuse, and just lots of recommendations. I've been intaking my magnesium. I've been um, doing a lot of breath work and meditation. And um, this morning, I would like to read a little from my heart thought a treasury of inner wisdom. And I like this because whatever I'm feeling, I can just flip open to the very beginning, to the contents, and I just pick what I would like to focus on. And so today is healing, and not just for my neck, but for each and every one of you lovers that are watching this video. We all need healing. We are all feeling it somewhere, some type of disconnect in our bones, in our cells, in our mind, in our bodies. So I'd like to start by just taking a few deep breaths, deep into your belly. Find a, find a spot to just stop everything if you can and to just sit with purpose and passion, alignment and awareness. Let's take a few deep breaths with me. Really nice. Allow the spaces between your collarbones and your hip bones to inflate. So we want this, this, this belly space to expand, become very spacious. So as you're breathing, listen to these words and let them soak into your mind. I let my whole being vibrate with light. Look deep within the center of your heart and find that tiny pinpoint of brilliantly colored light. It is such a beautiful color. It is the very center of your love and your healing energy. Watch as your pinpoint of light begins to pulsate and grow until it fills your heart. Let it move through your body from the top of your head to the tips of your toes. You are absolutely glowing with this beautifully colored light, which is your love and your healing energy. Let your body vibrate with this light. You can even say to yourself, with every breath I take, I am getting 
healthier and healthier. Feel the light cleansing your body of dis-ease. Let the light radiate from you into your room, into the world, and into your special place in this world. See everything whole. You are important. You do count. What you do with the love in your heart does matter. You do make a difference. And so it is. And this book is by Louise Hay. Some of you have heard of her. She's brilliantly, beautifully minded. And so, so this has been, like, I can feel it in my body. Those three days of not doing yoga when we closed Monday evening, Tuesday and Wednesday, for me to feel good. I, um, I've been doing yoga three to five times a day, every day for over five years. And so when I stopped for three days, my body like kind of went into a shock. Like, what is going on? This is so crazy. So my hamstrings are wicked tight. My calf muscles, everything is just tight. And so part of me wants to just jump on my mat, my mat right now and do an instructional flow or just like a yin class. But I'm just going very, very slowly. And I'm having to remind myself that I cannot rush my healing. I just can't. I have to... This is, this is all happening as a lesson, and I just have to be clear and careful and cautious and conscious of my, of my neck and my shoulders and all of the muscles that are being affected by this injury. I hope that you know how important you are. I hope that you know that this world is such a beautiful, magnificent place because you are here. And I also hope that you know that you're unlimited. I'm unlimited. We are all unlimited. There's nothing that can hold us back except the limitations that we set in our own minds. And so this week, you know, we're beyond hump day. We're halfway through. Take time every day to surrender and to rest your bones. They need because in that time, they just need healing stillness. And our thoughts are a big game player in our reality. And if we change the way we think, our reality, not maybe, it will change. Our surroundings, the people that we happen to meet, that come into our life, that into our space. It will all change if our thoughts we turn them into healing, loving, compassionate thoughts. And when we are injured, that we don't dwell on the injury, that we don't soak in the sadness, the, the pain, the why me. We just we get up, we breathe, and we know that this is happening for a reason. This is teaching us something. And so I hope that you all enjoy the sunshine today. We just got out of morning bliss yoga, and of course it was blissful and magic. I love all of you so much. And I still can't believe it. we've only been open our studio for a little less than seven months six months around there and the amount of love that has been exchanged in these walls, in this space, in this atmosphere is overwhelming. Um, I just can't believe how much love there is. I can't believe how much this yoga community has blossomed. I went to a grand opening for a sister friend of mine to do about 45 minutes with my babies on the weekend. I wanted to support her because she supported me, and it's Cardinal Yoga on 
was Ollie Drive or Ollie Way. I'll have to check it out. But that was such a moment of bliss for me. The love that was in that room, the connection, the respect, the compassion. You could just feel it. It was just so thick in the atmosphere. So um, many thanks to all of the wonderful yoga teachers and yoga studios that are creating these spaces of just healing light and unity within our community. So thanks to all of you. And I am going to go home and ice my neck now. And I'll be back here with my fairy wings on. Kids Yoga Fairy after school is at 4.30 p.m. to 5.15 p.m. So bring your little ones. This is the younger age group, so it's ages four to seven yogis. And uh, thank you. Thank you for being you, and thank you for letting me be me. And we'll see you on the next very, very soon. Love and light to you. Namaste.